Um, I'll ask a lot to, to... I ask a lot to put that on your good deeds. Now, Fusi Chu, he is a YouTuber who is an Arab, a Muslim, and he used to do prank videos. He started getting bigger till he cracked it into the mainstream. And then unfortunately, the fame got to him and he left Islam. He started womanizing and started doing all sorts of madness, mate. Some of you may be old enough to remember that he had a public breakdown, yeah? such that he pretty much became a meme. People started mocking him and his mental health was not what it used to be. Now bear in mind he had fame, he had money, he had access to therapists but he still was not getting better. Fast forward we saw him again take the Shahada, accept Islam and then somewhat get to grips with reality and start his road to recovery. And of course he fell off the scene. Now however he's back in the public eye. He's fighting on the card of Britain's biggest YouTuber KSI and he's fighting his little brother Deji. And in an interview here's what he said. How are you feeling mentally going into this fight? Alhamdulillah you know I pray every day for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take away my anxiety, take away my depression, take away my fear and I'm, I've never felt better in my entire life. I've kicked all antidepressant medications out of my life. I don't touch weed, I don't touch alcohol, I don't fornicate, I don't masturbate. I don't I don't take anything like I'm sober off life right now Alhamdulillah and I'm feeling better than I ever could. I came across a video of him I guess reciting Surah Al-Fatiha and then afterwards explaining why he was praying in that way. From a young age my mother always told me whenever I was stressed, anxious, nervous, needed protection, whatever to revert back to that Surah so I just you know read what was in my heart and it was Surah Al-Fatiha. And it was pretty touching and I felt like it was I guess prime time I make this video. It's a story that I have with Yusuf even though he doesn't know me, about 10 years ago when I first went onto YouTube and I made my first ever YouTube video, which was about Jesus. Jesus said one, Jesus said God, and the church said son. I had barely any subscribers on my channel and I put the video out there not knowing what to expect. Within the first hour, it had barely any views. Um, I received a few phone calls from my friends that were probably laughing at me for putting that video out there. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know, it's got no views. You're embarrassing yourself. But I feel like after an hour of being online, the video was beginning to what I can now call going viral. I think I actually started crying from happiness that the video was actually going viral. And I was desperately and frantically searching as to the reason why. And lo and behold, I found out that brother Yusuf, he shared the video. <sighs> SubhanAllah. And that was the reason why that video <sighs> went viral because he shared it. And <sighs> that was the first ever video I made and it kind of sparked so many more videos that I went and made. Um, you know, meaning of life, love, marriage, fairy tales, whatever, all the other videos were after that one video went viral. And he was one of the reasons why that video went viral. And if Yusuf is watching this video, SubhanAllah, you know, um, I ask Allah to... to <laughs> I ask a lot to put that on your good deeds because you know you probably didn't even think of it you're just like hey sh share this video but it's like you kind of launched that whole spoken word phase for me it's thanks to that one simple deed that you probably didn't think much of yet look at the outcome that happened. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, لا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا don't, don't belittle a single good deed, even if it's a smile, because you'll see that on the Day of Judgment. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he says, save yourselves from the fire, even ولو بشق تمرة, even if it is like half a day, don't belittle any good deed. And that was just one small good deed that you've done in the past, but look at the ripple effect that it's had. 
And let that be a reminder for every Muslim that watches this. Don't belittle any good deed that you do. You have a Rabb, a Lord who knows, who sees, who hears, and who's ever thankful. And I want you to know that while you're going through any hard time that you're going through, in my eyes, you didn't lose. In my eyes, you're a winner, especially after hearing what you said about going for nine months with sobriety and, and staying away from all everything that's haram. That, that's a win. That's, that's a huge win, something you should be proud of. So keep your head up. Everyone watching, either you have gone through trauma or you will go through trauma. Yet when I say trauma, like death of a loved one, heartbreak. These really make you introspect about life and turn you into a deeper individual. So when you will go through this, the self-help videos, the motivational guys and psychological theories will only get you so far. And when it's going to be sink or swim, what is it going to be? And at that time you will realize you need a connection with the creator without which you are useless. Satisfaction can only come in Islam.